Shifting gears now, it's time for our weekly check-in with Providence Mental Health. Today we're talking about prevention of teenage substance abuse. Dan's Missy O'Malley met with clinician Tanelsa Tonelson Martin Martinez to see how we can recognize patterns that start in an early age. Let's hear a bit more. Good morning, thank you so much for tuning in. We are back at Providence Mental Health. Today joined by our clinician to Nelson and we have a really big topic to tackle today. The prevention of teenagers and substance abuse. And I understand your work in Chicago, many times you'd worked with adults, but now you're saying if we can stop this at an earlier age, that's the whole mission. So talk to us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so back in Chicago, I was an inpatient and outpatient substance abuse counselor. And more times than not, those stories that we would hear are that this is something that started in their adolescence. Um, so something that we really want to target is the prevention. So getting in at those earlier years and teaching healthier coping um, skills and mechanisms so that into their adulthood, they're able to tackle um, you know, life's issues with healthier ways. And one thing I love that you were mentioning a moment ago to Nelson is the whole family unit because they have to be clued into the signs and knowing what's going on. So talk to us a little bit more about that family dynamic. Yeah, we really like to approach the, fam the family system as a whole. We won't want to send just an individual back home into an environment where the family members, whether that's siblings, parents, loved ones, are not aware of what to look for. They're not aware of the signs or what that risk looks like. And we would really like to educate the entire family um, be someone they can lean on during this process and just provide more education overall. Now speaking of educating the family, what about me as a community member, the, our friends and families, our neighbors, how can we help these parents going through this trying time of, of teenagers and substance abuse? We just ask that the community members become more educated, more aware. Um, we would just like for more questions to be asked within the community. More education, we don't want to push anything under the rug, we want conversations to be had and for the safety and the future of the adolescents overall. I think that's so important. Just talk about it. Don't shove it under the rug, like you said. Right. So Nelson, thank you so much for your work that you're doing. I imagine it is a difficult task, but the fact that you're talking about it, the fact that we're talking about it this morning, I think it's just uh, the right direction. So thank you so much for what you're doing, especially with your work here at Providence Mental Health. Thank you. We have more with our friends here at Providence Mental Health next Monday, right here on Montana This Morning. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us.